Hi, hello everyone, my name is Mariana and welcome to Mission Valley. Today I'm going to give some tips to help you how to correct the bow direction. Okay, and also I'm going to give an Easter challenge at the end, so just don't miss it, just watch the whole video until you arrive until the end. Okay, but also as I say always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also to follow me on my Instagram account so you can have more access and content about Valentine. Okay, first I'm going to explain what is the bow direction. So, bow direction basically means if the bow is parallel to the bridge. Because when we are beginners, when we start playing, when we are not aware yet how the movement of the right arm should be, the bow starts to look like this. So, not straight at all, right? So, usually you should start by the middle, so you, it's where I have this sticker here. And then you should be aware that if you move this part of the arm, if you do this, the bow is not going to be straight. So you should focus more on this lower part of the arm, alright? So basically thinking that uh, it's like a scissor opening and closing, opening and closing. Alright, so basically what you can do to correct is to use a mirror or also someone from outside that tells you if the bow is straight or not. So a mirror is usually a good, good tip that you can also do alone. Okay, so mirrors, they don't lie, they always tell the truth. So, like, do this exercise, just playing open strings between a small amount of bow. For example, I have these two stickers. Just do uh, some open strings and look at the mirror to see if you're doing like this or like this. Alright? So, yeah, uh, using a mirror is my first tip. Then, the second tip that I'm going to give is called compass exercise. So usually what I say to my students is they should think that the bow, so all this from the middle, like the bow should move like a compass, pointing where is the north or the south, okay? And they should, in the beginning, to exaggerate and then reduce the movement less, 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 and l until they have the bow completely stopped. Okay? And of course, all is trying to have it parallel at the end. So, I find it helpful when students um, exaggerate first to have also some freedom, freedom of movement and then they start to reduce until basically the bow is completely stopped. Okay, so I find also this exercise very helpful. Okay, and then the last exercise that I'm going to give is the Easter challenge that I said in the beginning of the video. Okay, so basically what you will need first is a box of eggs, 12, it will work better. Any kind does not matter as long as it's empty, all right? We don't want to have any accident with eggs falling, dropping, okay? So what you just need to do very easily is to just think that you are playing the violin, placing on your shoulder, and then you place the bow there. So try more or less to imagine how it should be. For example, this part here is too close. This one also a bit too close for me. I think ideally it will be this one. Also maybe here, mm, I think this one is better. But you should try. How does it feel for you? And what it will happen is the, the shape of the eggs won't allow you to move the upper arm. Basically the, the bow will be stuck. Okay, so if you see here, I cannot move. So actually I find this it is very very helpful, this is super fun. Yeah, so basically that's it. Um, so um, basically also try to keep around the middle area. Then you can also start to use more bow until you cover the hole. So I find this maybe one of the best exercises to correct the bow direction. And if you're a teacher, um, also, it's also good to tell your students to find a box of their own, especially, only ex uh, especially for the violin classes, asking them to paint, to color, any, any color they like. Um, yeah, basically to decorate and to make it personal. Yeah, and if you're a student, if you're watching this, I also hope you have fun also decorating your own egg boxes for the violin classes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm also going to post more tips about 
the bow and also the sound, the violin, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're using this Easter challenge. Um, put uh, on the picture the hashtag or on the post the hashtag Mission Violin and also I will see what you guys are doing. So I hope you enjoyed, find your Easter egg and I also hope you have a um, happy Easter and I will talk to you soon. Bye!